In this video, we're going to talk about helping, linking, and action verbs. So let's start with our easiest verb, and that is action verbs. Action verbs show action. So if I have a sentence like Joey runs the race, our action verb for this sentence would be run, because we can actually see it happen. So if, if you're looking at a sentence and you ask yourself, can I see this happen, and you say yes, that's an action verb. They're really obvious in those sentences. Uh, the next, I would say, most obvious verb would be helping verbs. And the reason they're obvious is because they help an action verb or a main verb. So the trick with this one, we'll write this up here, is there's always two verbs here. So a helping verb always comes in pairs. So if you look at a sentence and you ask yourself, is there a word that shows action? And you answer yes. Then you look to the word right next door to it, usually on the left side of it, and ask yourself, is that helping the action verb? So if we say Joey might win the race, might is our helping verb. Okay, win would be an action verb. So if I didn't know if it had a helping verb, first thing I do is I look for my action verb, which is when, ask myself, is mine a helping verb? And there's a trick to that as well. Which I'll show you that in a couple, couple seconds. Before I show you that, last but not least is linking verbs. And I do think these are the hardest to, to find because these verbs don't show action, they show state of being. So they show like a feeling and they also link a sentence. So if I say Joey is the fastest runner, this is our linking verb. The trick to this is putting an equal sign in. So if I can replace is with an equal sign, and if I can link these two sentences with the equal sign, it's a linking verb. So notice we have Joey equals the fastest runner. So we're linking Joey and the fastest runner. So we're linking the subject with the predicate, basically. So uh, before we move on, in your interactive notebook, you should have a page that looks like this. And if you don't, it uh, might be good to pause this video and write some of these words down because these are common linking verbs and these are common helping verbs. And it's kind of nice to have that, that built up in your memory. That way, when you're looking for these types of verbs, you can recognize them quicker. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at a PowerPoint that goes over these different types of verbs. And we're going to practice a few of them. And then we're going to put all this together and see if we can identify each separate type of verb. So if we take a look at action verbs first, and these we're going to go through pretty quickly because most people are pretty good at finding these. But if I have a sentence that says something like, uh, we need to gobble three mini pizzas and a burger before she fainted, we're looking for the word that shows action. Uh, and the, this sentence, a word that's showing action is something that we can see is gobbled. We can see her eaten real fast. Okay, fainted is another word that shows action. Ching grabbed a pitcher of orange juice and sloshed it in the way Nita's face. Again, we're looking for words that show action that I can see. So I can see Ching grabbing the pitcher of, of orange juice, and I can also see uh, Ching sloshing it in her face, in Juanita's face. So I do want to skip through a lot of this, and I, I want to go to uh, helping verbs. And remember, our definition of a helping verb is a word that helps a action verb. So if I say Jack will eat a giant hamburger for dinner, I'm looking for something that shows action first. So eat, we can see I'm eating. And then I'm asking myself, does a word right next to it help it? Well, will does help it. And will is part of that list that we that we showed that's in your interactive notebook. So eat your action verb. Will is your helping verb. If we take a look at the next one, Aaron is baking cookies for tomorrow's bake sale. Again, I'm asking myself, what word shows action? So this sentence here, baking, shows action. We can see or do it. So then I'm looking for the word next, right next door to it. Does is help baking? Is is a helping verb? It is. So baking is our action verb. Is is our helping verb. Let's do one more, and then we'll move on to linking verbs. So Chef Nermel. Pagasi has dropped four pizza crusts on the floor. Looking for an action verb, which is dropped. I'm asking myself, does a word right next to it help it? Is it on my list? It is. It's has. So has is our helping verb. All right, let's talk about linking verbs a little bit. Again, we said linking verbs link the subject to the predicate of a sentence, and you can usually replace a linking verb with an equal sign, and it shows that connection. Also, linking verbs also, uh, often talk about feelings, so that's another way to find them. So if we say, Harold seemed happy in Toronto, uh, we're looking for, and it's on your list too if you're having trouble finding these, but we're looking for the linking verb. Uh, notice we have Harold and we have he's happy in Toronto. That seem links those two sentences. We could put equals there. Harold equals happy in Toronto. 
Adwana is the largest elephant in this area. Again, we're looking for one of those words on the list. We're looking for a word where we could put an equal sign to link the subject to the predicate. In this case, Adwana is a, is a subject, so we could put equals largest elephant in the area. So is is our linking verb. It was a joke. Looking for one of the words on the list, looking for something that we could link the subject to the predicate to. It is a subject. So if we put equals there, we could put e it equals joke. The last thing I'd like to do, and this is kind of takes us into your worksheet, is I would like to take a look at finding whether or not the verb in a sentence is the linking action or helping verb and then uh, being able to identify it. So again, R is our verb in the sentence, lollipops are sticky, and I ask myself, can you see R, is that an action? No, it's not, can't see it, not an action verb. Is there any action verb in this sentence? No, so it can't be a helping verb because helping verbs always come with action verb. Last question, can I put an equal sign in this sentence instead of R? Yes, I can. Lollipops equals sticky. So lollipops equals sticky. R is an action verb or a linking verb. Mom wore fancy heels to the wedding. First thing I'm asking myself, can I see a word that shows action? Can I see a word that, that I can see? Uh, yeah, I can see somebody wear something. So wear is our, or war is our verb. War is an action verb. I might order a large soda. Well, I'm looking for a word that shows action first, and I can see someone order something, so order is definitely an action verb. I look at the word next to it, does that help order? It does, in this case, it's on my list, and I know that it's helping order. So I have might and order are my two verbs. Might is a helping verb, order is an action verb. The glass of lemonade looks refreshing. Do I see a word in this sentence that shows action? Well, I can say, well, it well, looks, I mean, I can kind of look, I'm not sure if that shows action. Well, let's ask myself this question, first of all, is there any word next to helping it? And lemonade doesn't help look. That's not a helping verb. So we can rule that out. And then I ask myself, can I replace looks with an equal sign? Glass of lemonade equals refreshing. Yes, I can. So in this case, looks is actually a linking verb because it links our subject, lemonade, to our predicate, which is refreshing. I hope I get a green gumball. Now, this sentence has two ver verbs. We have hope because you can do that. You have get, because you can see that. So hope and get are action verbs. 